That's right, Derwin. Mavericks taking on the RMAX third place team in UCCS. Shannon Murphy coming up with a big save early in this one for the Mavericks. Uh, and it actually leads to this goal from Reagan Wentz. The Mavericks, they strike first, one nothing. Mountain Lions, so uh, they respond. Audrey Knaff takes a crunch here, earns a free, and, well, she converts the free, ties it up at one all, but not for long. Uh, Melanie Evans working from behind, uses a shimmy, drops it off for a streaky Wentz. She makes them pay 2-1 Mavericks, but uh, here before the end of the first. Ava Goodnature takes a shove while shooting, earning free position and from the free. Goodnature starts a good play, passing it behind over to Natalie Church and she's going to tie it 2-2 before the break. Uh, second quarter makes it 3-2 uh, Mountain Lions after the Julia Patrick goal from free position. Uh, the first quarter, the Mountain Lions, well, they won all five draw controls. Here in the second though, the Mavericks whittling the numbers their way and this draw in particular was an important one uh, to win because not only is it Mavericks possession, it would lead to a Mavericks goal. How about Alex? Allie Bryant going to work right here, and we are back time to three all later. Here's your RMAC Offensive Player of the Week. Kylie Davis showing you why. It takes a spell for the effort, but the effort was a goal for the Mavericks. That was the Offensive Player of the Week. Here's your Defensive Player of the Week. Ashton Whittle has to be said the Mountain Lions goalie made it a handful of nice saves on the evening, but uh, Whittle's time will come. But for now, it's Brianna Anderson's time to shine. Mavericks pull ahead five to three, but just 30 seconds later, the Mountain Lions, they fight back with a nice pass inside. Nice shot from Hannah Mill makes it 5-4 on the other side. Kylie Davis taking tons of contact and that's going to draw a whistle on the inside and that that'll lead to the Mavericks sixth goal of the game and I told you Ashton Whittle's time would come here it is taking the bottom near side right there for the goal uh, later she's going to go across to the other side scoring a pair of consecutive goals for the Mavericks she wound up with five on the night uh, Kylie Davis she would finish the night with four at Mavericks they would take the nine to five halftime lead into the break let's get you to your final and that, yeah, that second period was a big one for the Mavericks. They hang on to the 16 to 13 win. Up next for the Mavs, their biggest game of the season, arguably going up against the nation's number three team, Regis. That's at Community Hospital Unity Field this Saturday. Uh, speaking of 